So, welcome or welcome back to Fatal Female Friday. Uh, for this case, we are going back to Milwaukee. You know, good old Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This case, uh, this case, of course, as you can imagine, is another controversial case. Um, in this case, our child does suffer from autism. So, this case and the next case that I'm uploading both involve children with autis autism. So, of course, this, uh, of course, as imagine, is since the topic. Both cases, sadly, our victims are, of course, innocent children. And so, that's just a heads up on that. Um, this case technically could be made to a short, like a YouTube short, but I actually tried doing that into a short, and apparently there's more information than I thought, and so, uh, sources down below as always, I think I have seven for this case, surprisingly. If you knew anybody involved in this case, whether it be victim, killer, whether your kids went to school with the killer, because, I'm sorry, not with the killer, with the victim, because I think our victim's like four in this case, um, definitely know um, down below. That being said... Equipment rambling, and let's go get started. So, Amelia Dacio was born in, we assume, 1993. We don't have a date on her, but if you do some math, I got 1993. So, we're going to go with that, unless something comes out and confirming otherwise. Um, she eventually gets diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Doesn't say when, but she gets diagnosed with bipolar. She apparently is taking mental health treatments for said bipolar until she finds out she's pregnant. So then she gives birth to a son named Antonio on August 9th, 2013, and he has, he is autistic, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And then apparently within the span of like 14 months, so like a little over a year, they would move like three times. So then on September 28th, 2017, Amelia would put Antonio into a bathtub and then bound him with, with said like seven belts, and then apparently there's like a trash bag. I would like to, I didn't would want to imagine this, but I imagine the trash bag was put over his head to like... Didn't say that, but that's just, that's what I'm imagining in my head. Um, as then it said that she removed, like, she took down the smoke detectors so her neighbors couldn't be alerted because apparently she was living, like, in, in apartments. She then sits Antonio on fire and then leaves. She then, okay, so apparently there, she goes out of a window, but the window that she went out of, there was an air conditioner, so she pushes out the air conditioner, flees out of said window, and then, of course, apparently, as you imagine, smoke would eventually come out of the building. So then, of course, firefighters are called. They bust in. They see. They find Antonio dead in the tub, and apparently there is a dead guinea pig that had drowned next to the tub. So now we just found this child dead. So we gotta figure out where the mother, mother is. Uh, apparently, Amelia is just out, just walking on the street, and a police officer arrests her because apparently, but she matched the description of what the mother should look like. So we're gonna arrest you. They find a woman's name and her number in the phone. They call the woman, and the woman says, "My husband gave her the number." Because apparently the husband saw her crying and obviously went to cons like I guess comfort her, ask her what was wrong, and she said that she did something bad and needed a pastor. So like I said, uh, apparently she did something. Uh, she would tell the man that she did something bad and that she needed a pastor to talk to, and then the man gave her his wife's number. So not his number, but his wife's number. And so apparently earlier that day, so before she even kills Antonio, apparently she had actually searched up like how do cannibals die, how to kill a cannibal. Like, they checked her Google search. This was found in her Google search history prior to her killing Antonio. So then, apparently, a result comes up, and it's a message board from a game where the players are essentially have to kill the cannibals. That's the object of the game. And so, apparently, it says something about lighting them on fire and that they like to bathe in the oil. So, it's believed that's where she got the idea to light Antonio on fire. So then, one question, apparently, she would claim that Antonio, even though he's like a four, literally like a four-year-old, and it's not supposed to be known how to do this. Apparently, he, she would claim that Antonio came on to her sexually and that he let her bound him because, remember, like I said, he was bound to seven belts simply because he loved her. So then, apparently, while she was talking about um, setting Antonio's body on fire, it said that she actually laughed like wildly. So, said that as what you will. In November of 2017, her trial was suspended because apparently she was deemed incompetent, deemed incompetent to stand trial. And then she was still held on bonds and she was still in jail on 350 grand. That was her bail. And then apparently a GoFundMe was created. I would like to assume for Antonio's exp uh, burial expenses. Because, you know, funerals be hell expensive. And at the, at the time that I was doing the research, about four grand had been raised. And then apparently in October 2018, Amelia is sentenced to life, but she's sentenced to life in a mental institution. So yeah, um, this case is definitely one that had I think had been more publicized, I guess that's the right word. It definitely would have brought a lot of outrage because not only was it a child that was killed by his own mother, it was, a, it was a child with special needs. It was a child that had autism. And so obviously, yeah. Um, definitely what you think down below. 
Um, she did get life, but it was in a mental institution. Do you think she should have got life in a regular institution? You know, like actual jail or not? You know? Um, thoughts always welcome down below. Sources always down below as always. I cover three faith females every every week. Um, subscribe for more faith females. And that's all I have for this case. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So with the play dead, will you regret everything that you did that you said? I don't think you understand what you're doing. And my heart's black and blue from the bruising. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing. Sitting there gaslighting and confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like that and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings